How's it going? I'm pretty excited about today's project, guys. Although, maybe not the coolest project in the world, it is very necessary. If you take a bit of a look around the shop, you may notice something. It's a nightmare. I'd say it takes about 10 minutes of working in here for it to become a horrendous mess. And that's because I've run out of space. With not enough space, everywhere becomes storage. <laughs> so, I'm gonna build a shed on the side of the house. And as of lately, I've been watching Bo Miles' videos a lot, and he takes scrap wood and makes beautiful things out of it. I'm inspired. I'm gonna try and build this shed entirely out of reclaimed materials. Okay, it's a little bit because I'm broke. <laughs> we on the prowl! My thoughts for this is I wanna build the shed entirely out of reclaimed wood. The one problem with that, it's not really a free wood finding season out here. But we're in luck. I got a hot tip from a friend where I can find a buttload of free pallets. So, Got yeah, my fingers crossed and we're we're gonna speed our little way over there. Oh no, it looks empty. Oh, so sad. Oh, this is a nice parking spot. Well, it's not quite the mountain of pallets that I was hoping for, but I don't know. It's a start. Wow. We got a lot of pallets. Now the problem with using reclaimed materials is it takes twice as much time. Because rather than spending the day putting up a couple walls on the shed, I'm gonna spend a day breaking these pallets down. So depending on whether you value your time or not, this is either the cheapest or most expensive way to build a shed. Let's do it though. Bam! Let's go break some pallets. I guess we just gotta do that a hundred more times. Yay! One eternity later. Whoo! Good lord. This is a lot of work. So I've broken down what I got. Here we have a pile of the uh, one buys. We've got some short two by fours. We've got some long two by fours. And this is all kind of trashy stuff. I might end up using it for something, but these are the broken and split pieces. So now I gotta go through and painstakingly remove all the nails from these pieces. Rather than properly remove all these nails, which would take forever, I'm just gonna cut them out which will take a significantly smaller portion of forever. I'm gonna have to go over this driveway a million times with a magnet before I park on it again. How the hell did you get out of here? Look at this little baby. Hey, you wanna show me how you got up here? You sneak through that little hole. Wow. Well, I'm gonna patch that hole up and then cut nails for another two hours. I'll see you then. All right, here's my plan to make usable lumber out of these pallets. So I'm gonna take each of these pieces, cover them in glue, then come in, line up one edge, nail them together, get the next board ready, get them glued together, staggered, until I get to a length that I want. And rinse and repeat all the way to the end. Just like that. And now, as you can see, we've got just a very high quality, beautiful two by four. The nails are just to hold it together while the glue dries. I'm hoping that the glue will do a lot of the heavy lifting on this, but I'm gonna turn that stack into a bunch of these and let the glue dry overnight and we'll see. So these things have gone overnight. They're pretty dry and honestly they feel um, more trustworthy than I thought they would. Still not quite a two by four though, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish processing them and see if it's viable. Step one is gonna be use my super sketchy saw here with no guard, trim off this little flopper and flip the piece around 
So I'm gonna do that with all of these pieces. We're on my phone now. I just wanted to show my uh, super nice tripod that I'm using out here. Professional. So I've got them all cut to length here. There's a couple up there for longer bits. Now I'm gonna attempt to rip them. So I'm gonna rip them down to three and a half inches so they'll be two by four size. Little worried about hitting nails, but let's do it. Well, the table saw launched a screw at my face. Do I look hardcore? Anyway, we got lumber. And honestly, I trust them, dude. Like, there's a few iffy ones, but most of them feel pretty strong. So, I guess we get to start framing now. Nice. So my initial plan was to build this shed on the side of the house. And I even spent an entire day removing snow and moving all my stuff from there to get ready. But after giving it some thought, there is no way that I can get away with this without a permit. With the ruckus I'm causing up here, and how visible this all is from the street. It will be technically legal without a building permit, but I might get in trouble for not getting a zoning permit. So, thinking I'm actually gonna build the thing back here, which means more snow removal. It also means undoing all the work I did yesterday. Yay! I'm just gonna use the pallets as is. It's like a pre-built floor. Now then, these are all just pine, so we need to make them a little bit more weather resistant, if you will. So to do that, we're gonna use fire. This is the Shosugi Ban, Japanese wood burning technique. By charring the surface of the wood, it creates a layer of carbon, which is far more weather resistant than just the base pallet wood. All right, time to start flipping these and tying them together. I'm hoping it'll start being a little less janky now. We're getting somewhere, and yeah, it's pretty jank, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is it's square, and it's pretty solid. The only part I'm a little worried about is this little diddly. I don't think, I don't think it's smart to just put flooring over that, but I'll cut a piece to go in there. Otherwise, we're just about ready to start doing the framing. So, we've got one wall framed. Now I guess I just gotta raise it. I'm kinda scared it's all gonna fall apart. Let's do it. Stella, you probably don't want the overlay. We got a wall. You know, for pallets, it's not too bad. Like, I sort of trust it. And I think I'll definitely trust it once I got everything on there. Yeah, dude. That'll do. I'm going to plumb this thing up, anchor it to the bottom, and then... We'll start framing up another wall. Now, puppy, hi. Cut it out. Worst laborer ever. She cracked the code. She's like, all I gotta do to get dad to play with me is steal a Home Depot bag. You little turd. I guess let's frame up that back wall. <laughs> Ta-da! So, two truckloads of pallets has gotten us here. That's not too bad. Now, I am a little bit scared of when I gotta start doing the siding on this thing, cause I think that's gonna be a lot of pallets, but for now, moving right along. I'm calling it for the day, but we'll be back out here in the morning. Gotta get more pallets. So, two walls up. The other two walls are gonna go up just the same. Ta-da! And it's a little disheartening to take a full day of work and reduce it down to two dings. Anyway, we've got a bit of a structure going. Our walls are fully framed up. I started throwing extra pieces onto the sides just to kind of make them a little more rigid because we're using such a uh, janky material. We've got a double door on the front and a little single door on the side. So now we got to work up. Time to do the trusses. 
I broke my own rule a little bit and I actually bought some lumber for the trusses, but I figure let's make the roof safe. <laughs> I think these janky two by fours are fine with forces coming down them, but not as fine this way. So I'm gonna use some real lumber for these. In the end, all that lumber only costed 60 bucks. So we're still doing pretty good on price here. So put some trusses together. So I've already made and pre-cut these pieces, centered up the peak in the middle and made sure our, what, what do you call them? Our eaves are even on either side and then just traced it. That way I can take our pieces, lay them on the lines and put these things together pretty quick. So let's do it. Well, it seems the weather has given us a bit of a natural break in this video. I've tarped up the base here. I'm kind of just going to leave this thing freestanding and just make sure I scrape off the snow. But yeah, you know what? This feels like a natural break in the video. Let me set this camera up. We're expecting snow for a couple days, so I'm calling it here. This is going to be a two-part video. I didn't lower the bar to not build a shed in two videos. <laughs> hey, calm down. Puppy wants to play. So, we got the thing all framed up. It's reasonably stout. I think I'm going to do a little bit of extra work on the framing in between the two videos but the next video is going to be sheeting this whole thing roofing siding possibly electrical and lighting and of course still all from reclaimed materials so we'll take this janky old frame and turn it into a beautiful shed but for now if you liked what you saw here leave a good old dinger think about subscribing and thanks for watching